I V M. Hello, one. Hello, all. Welcome to the Diary of the Traveling Professor. And I'm Siddharth Deshmukh, your friendly neighborhood traveling professor himself. And I realized that these last few diary entries of mine have been a bit pessimistic. Like on Tuesday, we spoke about sunset industries. So I thought, hmm, let's shake things up a little and let's be a little more positive with this one on this Thursday, shall we? So maybe perhaps if you can listen to this over the weekend or whenever you do, uh, you might kind of have a think about how things can be different. So this starts off with a student of mine asking this question, or was it a student or somebody who reached out to me on Instagram, to be honest, someone who reached out to me on Instagram and asked me, what advice would you give to your 19 year old self? Now, 19 year old self, wow. And I just realized, wow, my 19 year old self did not have digital. So therefore, all of my advice to that 19 year old self would be quite irrelevant. But then I realized what advice would I give to somebody who is 19 years old right now based on all the dumb mistakes that I've probably done. And one thing I realized was hmm, maybe you are who, uh, you know, who you are, but you're also the company that you keep. So one of the thoughts that I did have was if only I had a set of friends who could encourage me to be my best self, you know, uh, give me solid pieces of information, encourage me at the right times, kick my ass, you know, some other times and so on. And then I realized, okay, it's interesting, but actually a 19 year old is going to have a different source right right now of making friends. And these are the five friends, and I'm calling them friends in quotes, that you can make online. And no, I'm not talking of sleazy stuff. I'm actually talking of people who you can now reach online, digital, who inspire you and who help you just have a better life experience, right? So this post is about, this diary entry of mine is about who are the five friends, five virtual friends that a 19 year old can look towards. I know it's a generic sort of thing or a 19 year old, 20 year old, 30 year old, 31 year old. I don't care. I think the answer is timeless. I thought through this one and I realized, "Mm, okay, so I want someone who can help me uh, with some philosophy. I want someone who can help me with my career. That's two. I want someone who can help me with uh, my health. That's three. I want someone who can help me with a couple of hobbies of mine. So maybe the remaining two would be around hobbies, right? And so for me, you know, I I have found a very interesting sort of mix. I like maybe Jordan Peterson or uh, I like for business, I like Nicholas uh, Taleb, Nassim Taleb, right? I like Gary Vee. And then I realized, oh my God, I am over-indexed in a certain set of people. And a certain set of people are all around business or philosophy and stuff like that. Who do I follow for health? Who do I follow for health? And I made a mental note to myself. While I do follow people who are connected to me through the Joe Rogan experience, maybe I need to take a look at that quadrant a little more specifically. This made me realize that, you know, All of us do this. We over-index on certain types of friends. You know, maybe the party goers or maybe the studious nerds or maybe, you know, just the people who are going to help you with your career and stuff like that. And that makes us have limited unidimensional lives. It's quite possible that a 19-year-old might actually benefit from this life hack, which is around identifying the five people who can connect to five different facets of your personality, right? So, I would recommend any 19 year old to just chill out, do a little exploration, go a little window shopping for virtual friends, mentors, people who can have a little bit of information that might benefit you in areas which are not particularly similar to each other. Sure, you can have more than one friend in a particular area and you might over index like I have in a particular area, but make sure that the other areas are covered and make sure you listen to these five friends of yours every single day or maybe at least quite often really because they will allow you to you know see things which you don't normally see we have all of us have blind spots all of us have different opinions about the way in which we are but when we hear something from somebody on the internet we are not triggered emotionally so we are not people who kind of ensure that 
you know, we don't listen to advice, which is actually good for us. You know what I mean? But we don't listen to it because the friend is triggering us. Well, on the internet, you know, you can have a Gary Vee tell you that your marketing is all shit and you'll listen. Okay, or you'll have a Jordan Peterson schooling you about 12 rules of life or whatever it may be. And you can find your own poison. I'm not pushing my guys on you guys. All I'm saying is, hey, 19 year old or hey, 29 year old or whatever your age might be, perhaps it might be a good idea to have five virtual friends who can actually, you know, address five different parts of your life and help them forward, you know, take them forward. And make sure that your life experiences are just so much richer. I'm going to try and follow this advice of mine uh, myself. You know, this is new territory for me. But I hope that you do too, because it might just help us, you know, have more balanced and rounded lives and personalities. What do you think of this thought? I hope you like this diary entry of mine. Short and sweet, eh? I think that uh, what we can do is maybe share notes on LinkedIn or Instagram or wherever you might find me, connect with me and uh, take this conversation forward. I think that we can perhaps even start a movement on this, right? Maybe we can start a meme on this. Maybe we can have some fun with this. Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? My five friends are, my five virtual friends are, I can see, I can literally see people make fun of me on this one as well. But who the hell cares? Well, I hope you like this diary entry of mine. Connect with me on LinkedIn or Instagram where what else? Yeah, I'm the traveling professor. And uh, listen to podcasts like these and different ones too on ivmpodcast.com or just download the app. And until next time then, see you soon. I hope you enjoyed that show. I'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Intel. It's been a great week on the network this week. If you haven't been paying attention, please do listen to some of the shows. We had Chetan Bhagat. This is the first returning guest on Cyrus Says. Do check that out. Great, great, great episode. We had Palak Zataki on Advertising is Dead. Really interesting conversation was had with Varun. We had another crossover on the Habit Codes. Zarina Punawala showed up over there to have a discussion with Ashton about anxiety and pressure. Begin the journey with Ashi Vidyarthi continues to kill it. Please definitely do check it out. An old friend, Vijay Koshi, was on Storytellers and Storysellers. Do check that out as well. And I'd like to mention one thing. If you're a Tamil speaker, you should definitely check out our podcast, Kadai Podcast, Punyan Selvan. Kavita Jiva has done a fantastic job to finish up her first story. It is the last episode which just came out last Monday. Do check it out if you speak Tamil. It is an incredible achievement. Please do check that out. And with that, hope to see you again next week. Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Don Bradman, and now Cyrus Brocha. Okay, probably not in the right company. I mean, Don Bradman is Australian. But it's called Cyrus Says, a wonderful show about everything. Find the show on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast.com, or wherever you listen to podcasts.